Ooh, would you look at all the wood on a dash? What's up, my Negans? Yeah, I said that shit. And today, we're gonna fix the glove box. So, when you hit the, the button to open your glove box, and you hear a little click, but nothing happens, that's because you got a blown fuse. Now, you might think that's simple to just uh, replace the fuse, but let me tell you, it is quite a chore um, to get to the fuse that you need to replace. And it is a little mini uh, 10 amp fuse. And I'll show you how to replace that. So to do this, you first have to remove three screws that are beneath, they're, they're under here. There's like one here, one here, and one here. I'll try to get a picture of that, but it's kind of hard with this camera. So there they are, there, there's one there, one there. And one right there. So remove those three screws and then this panel will come down. And it's this this whole entire black panel right here will come down. And then after that there's um, another screw you have to remove to drop down the fuse box and I'll show you that next here. Alright once you remove the access panel this piece here, it, uh, set up underneath the dash. There's three screws to that. Then you can uh, you can unplug the light here. Unplug the light. It gives you some room to kind of move it off to the side. If you want to, you can unplug this too, but it really isn't necessary. So unplug your little under the dash light bulb there, and then. Uh, there's a green screw under here that we're going to get to that you have to remove next to get to the fuse box. And once you remove the access panel, then that green screw right there, you unscrew and it's a little drop down fuse box. Um, as soon as you unscrew that, then the fuse box will kind of drop down there. I'll show you that here in just a second. The fuse that you need to replace is a little mini 10 amp. And when you're looking at the fuse box, it's actually the one under the green one. And that one is a, a 20 amp. So you can see it there, it's the 10 on the far right, just below the 20 amp. That's the one that controls your glove box. And I'm gonna pull that out, show you what it looks like blown. I'll put in a new one and we'll see if that works. Okay, as you can see there, I've, I've pulled that fuse and it is blown. You can see there where uh, it's blown right there in the middle. Now, I've got a replacement here. This is a replacement. You can see that there's the, the wires inside the fuse are all connected. There's no, uh, no part that's uh, disconnected like this one here. See the difference? Okay, so we're gonna put uh, put this brand new 10 amp in in that slot right below the 20, the green one or the bright green one there on the far right. Yeah. Put this back up, tighten in the green screw, put your plastic piece back on, and the three screws there and then replace this uh, little access panel here. We'll get that patched up and be right back. All right, so now that we got that all buttoned up, let's go ahead and test it out. Look at that, opens right up. Every time. So yeah, it's just that uh, that little 10, 10 amp fuse, a little mini 10 amp that needs to be replaced.
That's all it is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if this video saved you a trip to the Steelership, smack the shit out that like button and hit the subscribe.